Still sounds like you would want that fight with Terrence. Well, that definitely you said it unequivocally on the show today. Yeah, but. no, I, yeah, it's no secret that um, you know I, what I said on the show is after I saw him beat Jose Benavidez, um, all, even though he's still my friend, and, and um, at that point in time when I saw him beat ben, Benavidez, I was like, that's when I let go and was just like, damn, like I might have to fight this dude because he to me at that point in time and still does look really good. He just is that good, and I. I, for me, it's not about challenging myself. It's just about being in the ring with the best. And Terrence Without a Doubt is one of the best. And, and we talked, too, about the possibility that Top Rank would want to make that fight. And um, I, know, I know you felt, you know, maybe a little disappointed or slighted that ESPN, you know, they bring up Pacquiao and Spence. But you, you were saying, you know, it would have been nice they bring you up, too, because why not Crawford versus Porter? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just understand what, the, what, what, what all entails. And getting in the ring with me and what all entails and getting in the ring with the other two guys, Errol Spence Jr. And, and Manny Pacquiao, I get it. However, at the end of the day, I know that I can do something that right now may be being overlooked. Um, not only is it going to be, a, would be an entertaining fight, but even, you know, the build up to the fight will be, it will be something special. Um... You're talking about cross cross promotions with uh, and with networks even. Um, I don't think a lot of guys are ready for stuff like that. I know that I am, and I know that Terrence he handles himself the way that he handles himself, but it works for him uh, for TV. You know, so even that right there, you got you know uh, the contrast there. Uh, you don't have it with Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford. You do have it with Errol Smith Jr. and Terrence Crawford because of the the the, the, the small history that they have, and and also um, I think that they they have a reason to get under each other's skin. I think with me it just would be yeah. How's it a great promotion if it's not? You know, we usually think great promotion that means trash talk. Mm -hmm. But how do you make a, a good build up to a, a pay per view po a potential fight? You with know, Terrence. I, I think even with me being the gentleman that I am, you know, I think that a lot of times I make sense and I make people uh, aware of things that they may not be aware of. Or I, I really do. I, I have a way of making people say, hmm, where they would not have necessarily done that. You know, so I think there's ways to uh, make it happen without, you know, disrespecting somebody or, you know, coming at somebody crazy. You know, I, t I told him, I said, hey, man, if we let's. If we do end up making this fight happen, it's like, yo, you know, won't you just come out my way? We can record ourselves playing some ball, doing some things that you don't normally see guys doing before a fight. And uh, he said, come on, man, you know I'll kick your ass in basketball. I was like, I said, that might be true. I said, but just just the idea of how you can get something to be promoted without, you know. Well, you yeah. built up the Spence fight really well with not really trash talking, but just bringing energy and yeah. just talking. Yeah, you know? yeah. And so, I mean, hey, uh... I don't know. I'm smart and and I follow God and and things just always work out for me, which is why when you when you ask me, hey, or 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 my co-host Carson asked me, is this would would you be open to fighting Terrence Crawford? You know, I can I can say I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. I'm not sure it, what my play is gonna be. I am the mandatory for the WBO title um, and the BC right. and, and well, yeah, and the yeah. WBC and the IBF. Let's be let's be real. They're they're lucky I didn't stand outside of the MGM with, with, the, with the picket sign saying, "Oh yeah, I'm the mandatory. Don't say don't say Manny Pacquiao. Don't say Ter er Errol Spence Jr. You have to fight Sean Porter. You know. So, but I'm just gonna be patient. And uh, when the time's right, I don't know what to do. So so say everything lines up right. Would you even be open to taking that fight next? You know. Yeah yeah okay Hell yeah yeah why not? I don't I'm, I I don't believe in ring rust. Uh, I have everything at my disposal right now to be prepared for a fight. Um, I'm feeling great at 33, uh, and and he looked great the other night, you know. So I got no apprehensions at all with, with making a fight with with, Errol, with excuse me with Terrence Crawford. I just um, you know I I definitely want to be respectful to him and and in his career. One thing about me, watch your head. <laughs> one, one thing about me is uh, especially. With me, even having the respect that I have for him, I, I don't want to tarnish that. I don't want to put any spots on that at all, you know. So, I but can, I, I did want to ask though. You you touched. This was one of the best parts of the show. Was 
you said you leave a physical toll, win or lose, mm -hmm. on a fighter yeah. um, when they get in the ring with you, and that may bring apprehension from them wanting to make a fight. Yeah, um, and I think but, you, I maybe I don't know, I, you you misinterpreted it a little bit. Yeah. But, however, it it, it it made me correct myself because um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to say that with the understanding that I do expect to win this fight. You know, I I always expect to win, and I'm gonna always go out there and do what I have to do to win a fight. Um, but simply put, when a guy gets in the ring with Sean Porter, the guy's going to leave some things in the ring. We all do that anyway. You know, so with that being said, especially when you're in the ring with me, um, you're just not, something's going to be different. You know, nobody's, you're not going to catch me with one punch and you're not going to knock me out in, in the second or third or fourth round and go home. You, you're going to go all night if you don't lay down. And at the end of that night, when you do lay down, you're going to feel different and it's going to stay with you for some time. That, is that not a great promo for uh, Crawford versus Border? I'm ready for the fight. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys think that would play out? You know, Sean. No, hey, the, hey, oh, no, no, no. We save that. Hey. We'll save that yeah, for quarter way. Oh, we're, we're not asking that. that. Oh, we're, we're not asking that. that. We're not asking that. that. I got some disrespectful friends that love me and hate me at the same goddamn time. Don't make no, it don't make no sense. Cut it off. Cut it off. Yeah. Cut it off. Hey, 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 hey can, real friends. Can, can, hey. can we get it on the Porter Way podcast yeah, eventually? Yes. yes. Can we get hey, it? Can we perhaps get those? Nah, because they don't know boxing. They don't know boxing. Nah, one of them. Play soccer all day oh, on, on, on the video oh, game. Here we and go. The other one. That's me. Can't say what he do. Yeah, I don't put my. Don't put my career. Hey, don't think I'm a stripper. They keep it. They keep it a buck, Sean. Yeah, he, he that's just, why. He, you he know that's why you keep him twice a year. My other, my other friend. They shit on your lip. If you don't say it right. He get, oh, he gets shit on his lip twice a year. Oh, that's gonna be wild. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> 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 Sean getting his shots back in. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. I'm not being nice to these guys anymore. Oh, I hate them both. Yeah. Oh, 